Senator Warren, I just want to say that I was surprised to hear that you did not agree with me that on this subject of what should be the rules around corporate responsibility for these big tech companies, when I called on Twitter to suspend Donald Trump's uh, account, that you did not agree, and I would, I would urge you to join me. Governor Bush, Mr. Trump has suggested that your views on immigration are influenced by your Mexican-born wife. He said that... Quote, if my wife were from Mexico, I think I would have a soft spot for people from Mexico. Did Mr. Trump go too far in invoking your wife? He did. He did. Um, you're proud of your family, just as I am. Correct. To subject my wife into the middle of a raucous political conversation was completely inappropriate. And I hope you apologize for that, Donald. So join but me, the way, know, join but me the, in saying that his Twitter account figure, should be shut down. No, let's think. Well, I have to tell you, I hear phenomenal things. I hear your wife is a lovely woman. She is. I she's don't fantastic. Know her, and this she is, is a total absolutely the love of my life. And she's right here. And why don't Good. you apologize Good. for her? No, I won't right do now. that because I said nothing yeah. wrong. Pure out. No. Why it is that we have had laws on the books for antitrust. But I do hear so she's a lovely woman. So here's the deal. My wife is a Mex Mexican-American. She's an American by choice. She loves this country as much as anybody in this room. I'm when you and I'm, 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 I'm not finished. I'm not finished. And so no. what I am saying is that it seems to me that you would be able to join me in saying the rule has to apply to Twitter the same way it does to Facebook. Look, I think all of the rules should apply across the board. I don't have a problem with that. So you will what join I me do in saying Twitter should shut down that account. Is that if we're going to talk seriously about breaking up big tech, then we should ask if people are taking money from the big tech executives. What we're talking about is a grave in injustice when rules apply to some but not equally to all, and in particular when the rules that apply to the powerless don't apply to the powerful. And so, Senator Warren, I just want to say that I was surprised to hear that you did not agree with me that on this subject of what should be the rules around corporate responsibility for these big tech companies, when I called on Twitter to suspend Donald Trump's uh, account, that you did not agree, and I would, I would urge you to join me, because here we have Donald Trump, who has 65 million Twitter followers and is using that platform as the President of the United States to openly intimidate witnesses, to threaten witnesses, to obstruct justice. And he and his account should be taken down. We saw in El Paso that that shooter in his manifesto was informed by how Donald Trump uses that platform. And this is a matter of corporate responsibility. Twitter should be held accountable and shut down that site. It is a matter of safety and corporate accountability. Thank you. Senator Warren, you can respond. So look, I don't just want to push Donald Trump off Twitter. I want to push him out of the White House. That's our job. So join but me, the way, will, join but me the, in saying that his Twitter account figure, should be shut down. No, let's figure out. No. Why it is that we have had laws on the books for antitrust for over a century and yet for decades now. We've all called on how the big drug companies are calling the shots in Washington, big ag, how uh, the gun industry, big tech. You know, we really need to address the elephant in the room, and that is how campaigns are financed. You can't say you're a corporate responsibility if it morning, doesn't apply to everyone. I announced this morning that I'm not going to take any money from big tech executives, from Wall Street executives, we've already agreed, Bernie and I, we're not taking any money from big pharma executives. You can't go behind closed doors and take the money of these executives and then turn around and expect that these are the people who are actually finally going to enforce the laws. We need campaign finance rules you, and Senator practices Warren. Senator Harris. You can't, that support you can't, us all. You, you can't. It, is, it does not represent a system of justice to say that the rules will apply differently to different people. This is a matter, you are saying, of holding big tech accountable. Yes. Holding big tech accountable because they have an outsized influence on people's perceptions about issues. And they actually influence behaviors. We all have to agree this is their power. It is immense. Senator so, Klobuchar, so, so let you me cannot, bring you in here. Your response. I'm not, I'm not, I'm Thank not you. finished. I'm not finished. I and so what I am saying is that it seems to me that you would be able to join me in saying the rule has to apply to Twitter the same way it does to Facebook. Look, I think all of the rules should apply across the board. I don't have a problem with that. So you will what join I me in do saying Twitter should shut down that account. Is that if we're going to talk seriously about breaking up big tech, 
then we should ask if people are taking money from the big tech executives. If we're going to talk seriously about breaking up big drug companies, we should ask if people are financing their campaigns by taking money from big drug executives. If we are going to talk about Wall Street and having some serious regulation over Wall Street, we should ask if people are funding their campaigns by taking money from those executives. Governor Bush, Mr. Trump has suggested that your views on immigration are influenced by your Mexican-born wife. He said that, quote, if my wife were from Mexico, I think I would have a soft spot for people from Mexico. Did Mr. Trump go too far in invoking your wife? He did. He did. Um, you're proud of your family, just as I am, Correct. to subject my wife into the middle of a raucous political conversation was completely inappropriate. And I hope you apologize for that, Donald. Well, I have to tell you, I hear phenomenal things. I hear your wife is a lovely woman. She is. I she's don't fantastic. know her. And this she is, is a total absolutely the love of my life. And she's right here. And why don't Good. you apologize Good. for her? No, I won't right do that now. because I said nothing yeah. wrong. But I do hear so she's a lovely woman. So here's the deal. My wife is a Mex Mexican-American. She's an American by choice. She loves this country as much as anybody in this room. And she wants a secure border, but she wants to embrace the traditional American values that make us special and make us unique. We're at a crossroads right now. Are we going to take the Reagan approach, the hopeful, optimistic approach, the approach that says that you come to our country legally, you pursue your dreams with a vengeance, you create opportunities for all of us, or the Donald Trump approach? The approach that Anna. says that everything is bad, that everything is coming to an end. I, Mr. Trump. I'm Jeb on the Reagan said side of this. That they come into our country as an act of love. With all of the problems that we have in so many instances, we have wonderful people coming in. But with all of the problems, this is not an act of love. He's weak on immigration. By the way, in favor of Common Core, which is also a disaster. 